Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths primary video on line symmetry. In this video, we're going to look at what line symmetry is and we're going to answer a typical exam question on it. Here we've got a picture of a heart. This heart has got one vertical line of symmetry. And the reason it's got a line of symmetry is if we look at this part of the heart, this left hand side, if we fold it over this way, it would land exactly on top of the other part of the heart. Therefore, it's got one line of symmetry. Here we've got a semicircle. This semicircle's also got one line of symmetry, but it's a horizontal line of symmetry this time. The reason is if you look at the top of the semicircle, if we folded it down, it would land exactly on top of the bottom half of the semicircle. So it's got a line of symmetry as well. Okay, this rectangle, this rectangle's got two lines of symmetry, a vertical line of symmetry and a horizontal line of symmetry. But let's have a look at the horizontal one first of all. If we look at the top half of the rectangle, if we folded it downwards, it would land on top, exactly on top of the bottom half of the rectangle. Therefore, it's got one line of symmetry that way. But also, if we look at the vertical line of symmetry, if we folded it over, the left-hand side of the rectangle would land exactly on top of the right-hand side of the rectangle. So it's got two lines of symmetry. Just wanted to show you, if we looked at the diagonals of the rectangle, there wouldn't be lines of symmetry. So for instance, if I join this corner up to this corner of this line here, this wouldn't be a line of symmetry. The reason is, if we folded it over, this corner would go down here somewhere, this corner would go up here somewhere. It just wouldn't work. If you, if you get an A4 piece of paper and try it, and try folding it across diagonally, it, it won't fit on top of itself. Okay, and here we've got a square. A square's got four lines of symmetry. Uh, one vertically, so it would fold over the left hand side, would fold over on top of the right hand side. It's got one horizontally, the top would fold down on top of the bottom. Um, it also has the two diagonals. If you get a square and you fold it over diagonally, the opposite corners will land on top of uh, on top of themselves. So it, it, it does have the two diagonals as well. So a square has got four lines of symmetry. An equilateral triangle has got three lines of symmetry. A regular pentagon's got five lines of symmetry. A regular hexagon's got six lines of symmetry. So if a shape's regular, and that means that all the angles are the same in the shape and all the sides are the same length. So for instance, the equilateral triangle, the square, the regular pentagon, regular hexagon, the number of lines of symmetry will equal the number of sides that that shape's got. Okay, let's have a look at a typical exam question now. So here we've got five letters, M-A-T-H-S, so Mavs. And the question says, write down a letter from the list that has got no lines of symmetry. And the next question says, write down a letter from the list that has one line of symmetry. And the last question says, write down a letter from the list that has got two lines of symmetry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna draw the lines of symmetry on the five letters first of all, and then we can answer the questions. So here we've got the letter M. The letter M's got one line of symmetry, a vertical one. The reason is the left-hand side would fold across on top of the right-hand side of the letter. Uh, the letter A has got one line of symmetry also, another a vertical line. The letter T has got one line of symmetry as well. The letter H has got two lines of symmetry. It's got the one vertically down through it, but it's also got the horizontal line of symmetry also. And the letter S doesn't have a line of symmetry. No matter where you try and draw that line, it won't fold over on top of itself. So the question says, the first one says, write down the letter, uh, letter from the list that has got no lines of symmetry. Well, that's gonna be the letter S. The next question says, write down a letter from the list that has got one line of symmetry. Now we've got a choice here of M, A or T, but the question says a letter, so let's just choose one of them, let's choose M. And the last question says, uh, write a letter from the list that has got two lines of symmetry, well that will have to be the letter H. And that's it. 